that. So let's work on that and help you get to the next level on your funky bow. So a funky bow is a bow that has, instead of just the long tails coming down, it has tails that go up and down. So in theory, you could, you could use scraps of ribbon to make this bow. I generally don't. I just create it out of two ribbons that um, I like to coordinate together. And that's what we're going to do with this one. So we're going to use this cute Happy Halloween ribbon. It's super cute. This is glittered and very vintagey cool looking. That'll be on the live sale tonight also. I just cut this at an angle just like that. And I make that tail eight inches. I bring it in and then I twist and we have that tail going up. Hello, Vicki. Hi, Dolores. So great to see you. Hi, Deborah. Happy Wednesday to you too. Now you can see I make my loop and watch how loose this is. This isn't tight. It's very loose. Six inches on this loop and I'm going to twist it. Okay. When I twist one hand goes forward, the other hand goes back and that alternates between the side of the bow maker on. Now my right hand goes forward. My left hand goes back. Okay. Isn't that great? Hi, Patty. So you can see how open I want to keep this and how high I want those loops to be. Nice and fluid, very loopy. All right, we're going to come in. Did I just lose a light? It seemed like a light went out, but I don't know what light went out. <laughs> Hello, good to see you. I'm glad you're here too. Twist, we're streaming everywhere. I just don't know what light went out. So we've got two loops on each side at six, okay? Tail up, and now we get to our last loop on this side. I'm gonna scrunch it and tail down. So if you're struggling on any bow making, you know you can come watch these videos, these replays on Wednesdays. They're all here on uh, Facebook or YouTube. You can go back and watch them. Okay. There we go. So tail up, tail down. I figured it out, one of my... Uh, my lights dimmed down a little. <laughs> I was like, why did I get bright? What's up with that? Okay, two loops on each side, guys, and a tail up, tail down. You could do that so far, right? You got it. Thank you for the sprinkle, Patty. Danae, you're awesome. Now, come in with your second ribbon. We're just using two ribbons on this recipe. This is a new ribbon that just got in, and it's a double sided, beautiful black. I mean, it's bougie. It's a D. Stevens. I mean, glorious. Uh, oh, that's nice, y'all. Don't play with the fancy ribbon too often, guys, because then you're like, oh, Lord, I love it. So we're going to bring this in. I love the solid black on the back, the check on the front. That is also at 8 inches. This is a super strong wire ribbon. I love that. Now I'm going to go a little shorter here at 5 and a half. So the center is going to be a little bit shorter. I'm going to watch my twist. This is so nice, the ribbon. Hello, welcome Donna. Glad you're here. Good evening. Hi, Jenny. Okay, six inches here. Scroll it back to five. We're gonna make it a little shorter, remember, and just scrunch it in because we're only gonna do one loop on each side, one beautiful loop. And now I'm gonna bring this in and cut this tail. Hi, Vince. Glad to see you. Hey, Shirley, family's good. We're in the, the midst of volleyball uh, tryouts and stuff in the summer. It's great. You're definitely welcome. Okay, I'm gonna curve these under. Just because this is a fancier ribbon, I generally curl that under rather than dovetailing it. Okay, so this recipe is a two one. We call it from the one side. Hi, Kim. So glad you're here tonight. Um, we've got this tail up, this tail down, this tail up, this tail down. This is a very easy bow, very effective. Very effective. You don't have to you don't have to have a lot of layers. You don't have to have all this bunching up. You can if you want, but you don't, okay? And it's still a beautiful bow. All right, now um, we're gonna take it off the bow maker. This is another thing we get questions about all the time. How do I get it off that bow maker without it coming apart? So we're gonna go slow and do this part. Another question we had today too was, hey, when I get it off, my loops are not the same. So I'm gonna show you how you can kind of you know, fudge your loops a little bit if you need to. So this is off to the right when I bring it up. So when I'm bringing it off, I'm going to just get some tension, but I needed to scoot it a little bit to the left, right? So that's why you'll see me always take it off before it's tight. Rotate that to the back. And now this is the most important part, okay? It's the fluffing. Hi, Dee Dee. Hi, Annette. So the fluffing has to happen now before this is tight. You can see all that space in there. If this were tight already, then I, I couldn't do it. 
Oh, teacher, teacher, you're raising your hand. You're in craft class. I love it. Come on in. Hey, you guys know I have a design school. So come on in. We don't play around here. Oh my gosh. It's, it's design school time. This is bow time on Wednesdays. Okay. So I've separated them out. I've got that big section in the middle with gorgeous popping. Now you see the dimension. So until you are get to the dimension you want, don't tighten it up. Okay. Cause if you tighten this up when it looks all crappy, it's going to look crappy tight. Okay. So, so take your time and don't squish down those loops. Isn't that a pretty combo? This has got a lot of motion. Okay. When I'm ready now, I now tighten it, tighten it, get it really super tight. Yeah. Tight. Boom. Okay. And I'm going to put a little piece of that check in the middle because that is gorgeous. Let's put it in. Put that off to the side for a second. Now, the reason we put the cable tie in the back is that how we'll attach it to our wreath. Okay. And up here we have the mechanics of the cable tie. Okay. That we don't want, that's not classy. That's not getting people to pay a lot of money for my wreath. So I need to cover that up and make it look classy. So I'm going to take a section of this beautiful new ribbon. I'm going to split it. This is so fancy. I need to just split it and utilize that cute little edge. All right, cut about 12 inches just so you have plenty of room on the center. And then we're going to take and fold it on itself. Oh, we could have solid black. That'd be pretty or check. Um, let me see. I think I'm going to do the solid black. That will be a little bit of contrast in there. So let's bring it in. Okay. I'm going to rotate that on. So just fold it over till you get it nice and skinny. <gasps> so sharp looking. Look at that. Oh, if designs aren't going in the same direction, Dolores, um, sometimes you can cut the ribbon to make, um, you can make that or you can do a double twist. I like to take and, um, on a funky bow, the nice thing is you don't have to worry about it because funky bows are made that way. So we don't really have to address that issue. But on this one, uh, it looks just so cute going up and down. Okay. So I just put a couple of knots here in the back. These are just really basic knots and you're just going to cut it. Yes. You guys, if you, uh, y'all know there's some changes in the text messaging. So if you are a shopper and you like to shop our live sale, could you just text us the word live sale to 832-734-5201? Or if you've never been on our list, go to textkelea.com -E -E and then you could just sign up by sending us the word live sale. Two words. Look how cute this is. That, that's killer. Simple bow, two, one, funky bow, okay? Now we're going to go to the next funky bow. Yo, this ribbon is juicy. This is my roll. Mine. Aha. That's what happens. Thanks for the follow over here on TikTok. You're awesome. You guys that are giving us hearts and love, thank you very much too. And those of you who are spreading the love everywhere else. And if you're on YouTube, make sure you're subscribing. Hit that bell icon for notifications. All right. Let's get in with our next one. This was the Halloween one. Now we're going to go, we're going to pop into a little fall. We're going to go into some whimsical fall. And tonight you might want to be around because we do have some fall products that are special sale items. I don't want you to miss out. Okay. We're going to come in now. We're going to play with the cute little gnome, which is also check. Okay. So let's grab him. Super cute gnome. He's on the check background and he's got green and red, all the beautiful fall colors working on him. Just, just a gorgeous ribbon. Okay. Now we're going to mix that with this beautiful kind of, it's a railroad stripe, but the stripe blocking is really large. Like the colors are done large on there, which is really fun. If you're already on the regular list, Patty, yes. If you would type live sale, that would help too. So we would make sure those of you who have typed us live sale, definitely get the text. Okay. That'd be great. Okay. So these are my two ribbons. So let's start again 
we're going to use the 2.5 in the back. And we're doing funky bows. So we're going out here at 8 inches. If you guys have questions, you're certainly welcome to ask. And I'll see if I can help you. So there's my 8 inch tail. I measured it out. We're going to bring that into the center and I'm twisting. Okay, we're going to have that just go up. If your dowels are a little loose, you can certainly glue them in, but I just hammer mine back in. Alrighty. Now, six inches is just a great size for most wreaths. Keep it nice and loopy. Come on, on the right. And this loop is also at six inches, and I'm twisting. Okay, and we're gonna do two on here. Two loops on each side, and we're making the base layer right now. And if you've, if you've ever noticed, you guys, live sale in the comments here is not gonna help you. Live sale is in the text list. So on the text list where I text you that we're live, you text us on your phone, 832-734-5201. Okay? That it has to be on the text list. We don't have the mini chat and all that stuff anymore. It's a no-no. <laughs> oh, I'll go tell I'll go Beverly. <laughs> We got, we'll have something for a million dollars tonight. That's how we make all our money. We mark something up really high by accident. <laughs> and we have all these really bougie shoppers who are all in to help supporting our family. <laughs> all right, let's go on the other side at eight inches also. And I'm gonna cut that at an angle down, okay? So you're gonna put one tail on the left, one tail on the right. Bring it in and I'm twisting it. Yes. Okay, now, this one is gonna be shorter. You can go five, you can go five and a half, whatever you want. The reason we go shorter on the next loop is we wanna bring your eye into the center of the design, okay? You love the gnome, Mama Bear, nice, nice. So we're going five and a half. I'm scrunching when I get to the last tail, and we're gonna bring it up. Easy enough, yay! Yeah, Vera, I'm so glad you're here. This is an easy bow maker. And basically, it's just holding everything. It's like having an extra set of hands. Um, it's just a simple contraption. It, it doesn't do anything fancy for you. It won't make the bows for you, but it's an extra little hand. Okay? Now, we're ready to take this off. So, I'm going to run that cable tie right beside and gently bring these up to the top, holding pressure. And then, you kind of just cake it and fluff it up. Magic's happening now! Magic's happening! Hello there, Sylvia and Nancy and Carol. Good to see you guys. Separate it out. Separate it out. You build it from the back to the front. Every time. Isn't that great? Lots of depth and dimension. I'm loving this color because it's allowing you to put basically any color in there. And you want to watch your tails, too. We want to make sure they're going up and down. Once I'm done fluffing, I'm flipping it over, and I'm going to attach my cable tie in the back. And let's go ahead and get it tight. Y'all, I've taught thousands and thousands of people how to make these bows. I know you could do it. I know you can do it. My mom taught me how to hand make bows, and we hand made bows for a very long time. But once we started to mix tons of different ribbons together in combinations, I really enjoyed having the um, the bow maker, so I didn't have to have rolls of ribbon everywhere. Because when you hand make bows, you've got rolls of ribbon thrown on the floor everywhere. So it was a it was kind of a learning curve at first, but then we started to really enjoy it. And I don't know how, I would say we've probably been using the bow maker at least 15 years of our lives. I know we didn't have it at the beginning of my career, but I know we've had it for the last 15. Okay, there it is. That's going to be our center. You guys over here, our center, I'm using that stripe. Isn't it so cute? Oh, the autumn colors are just great. They are fun. Okay, take and trim these off that little tail and you've got your second bow already. Wasn't that quick? Thank you so much, Melanie, for the sprinkle. We appreciate you spreading the boho love all over the Facebook. Thank you, Vince. 
Vince is always buttering my biscuit. If you know what I mean, I like it, Vince. Thank you. Okay, two bows in. Let's go to bow number three. Are y'all ready for a little wild side? Rawr. Look at these. Here, we're going to mix this cheetah pumpkin, which just kind of looks like a cool texture in there. And we're going to mix it with this plaid just to pop out. Do we want that plaid? Do we want that plaid? I'm trying to decide. Oh, I'm just in love with this black plaid. No, I think we want to use the orange plaid with it. So we can make it a little more fun and funky. All right, I'm coming in at eight inches right here. Bring it to the center and twisting. And that's going to go up. Hello, Melanie. Oh, nothing yet, Sue. Six inches here and twist, okay? Six inches over here and twist. And we've got pumpkins and cheetahs going everywhere. Hello, CT. Good to see you tonight. And I'm twisting right hand forward, left hand back, fluffing out those loops, fluffing it out. And now I'm going to scrunch it down. Okay, so I have some good separation in there. And then I'm just going to bring that over to measure it. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Uh, yeah, when you have a lot of layers, the stack can roll on you, Nancy. So get the cable tie tighter before you pull it up to help it not get away from you. Now I'm bringing in the orange or black check and we're gonna use this opposite of here and it, it's gonna pick up the um, colors in those pumpkins. And that brown is not black, but it's still gonna look good. Oh, I'm we we got a really expensive Dusty Miller. Somebody just told me we got one at the wrong price. I didn't know about it. Yeah, we've been uh, moving the website and the email the last few days to a new server. So you guys, things might be wild, but we'll get it fixed. I'll get the team on the, the, the very fancy Dusty Miller. <laughs> Obviously we made some kind of typo. Sorry, anybody who needed Dusty Miller. I was telling her that was my get rich plan. Just be, have like a super expensive price. <laughs> Okay, so these are at five, and these tails are at eight. Yeah, so I haven't gotten an email for the last few days. C2, but I'll be, I'll be on the lookout for it. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go slow again to take it off. Now these bows, you may say, Clee, what's so special about these? This type of bow is my go-to. This and the blast off, okay? We don't need layer after layer after layer, okay? We can we can have that if we're just not going to have a lot of florals. If we're going to have a lot of beautiful florals and fanciness, we don't need to compete with all that with an over-the-top bow. It's one or the other. So you choose the direction you want to go or choose what your customers want, right? Okay, and I'm going to come in the back with the cable tie now that I like how I fluffed it. We'll get some tension and pull it tight. I know, right, Sue? <laughs> Y'all know I have no Dusty Miller that fancy. <laughs> Dolores, right? It always looks good. Now let's go in there with a little bit of the check. We'll put that in the middle. Whoops. <laughs> Come on now, CT. That's a little over budget. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Hi, Quincy. Right? That's our that's our get rich plan. Uh, you know, we've done that the last few live sales too. We've had one every time, but we catch it usually. Uh, all right, I'm gonna get this tight. Two knot. I like two knots in the back generally. If it's thicker, fancier ribbon, you might have to just do one. I like to. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. Really, really cute. Isn't it cutie? All right. Three bows in. Okay. We're going to go in bow number four. We're going to go at a little higher level of loops. Okay. We're going to go a little bit more. <laughs> uh, 
The call fixed the Dusty Miller. She was like, what? I'm on it. Thanks, guys. That's hilarious. Okay. Let's come in here now with the... Um, this is the leaves with the gold, which are really, really pretty. They have like a gold edge and kind of a really traditional fall leaf on there. And we're gonna mix it with the pretty like tie dye kind of ombre look. Really, really pretty. Uh, I love this ribbon. It works really well with the two. So let me open this up and we'll get going. Hi Blanche. And you guys, if you're new, definitely say hello. You're very welcome. I'm glad you're here. Um, the other thing is we have a live sale on Wednesday evenings at uh, right after this video. I don't I don't give it a time because it's generally about 20 minutes after this video ends. I'll go get everything. We'll get it set up and then we'll have it right here. And because we're moving the website the next few days, you can still shop on it. But we're going to have a, we're planning on having a little bit more live sales for the next couple of days so stay tuned if you are on the text list we will text it out make sure you text us live sale if you're already on the list so we can uh, know you want those texts also okay so i'm putting the 2.5 leaves in the background uh vera's got a question she said is there a rule of size on the two inch that should be used with different size same pattern is there a rule so there's no general rule um I break the rules all the time, but you have to be careful if you had put just one loop on each side in the back, that if you came, if it were narrow, you might cover it all up. So when you see me fluffing out the bow, that's the time that you can separate the layers, but you can do whatever you want as far as what size ribbon you use on a different layer. Blanche, this ribbon's so pretty. It's really pretty when you get it all into the bow. Okay, six and a half in twist, and we're going to go a little bit bigger, so I'm going to put three loops on here. Whoa, danger. Three loops, twist. Maybe this bow is just going to go in a gorgeous, you know, fall wreath that's just leaves, or uh, just a touch of greenery, or some gorgeous twigs, like for the fall. Oh my gosh. Don't get me started. So many ideas. So there's two on each side, twist, right hand forward, left hand back. And here comes number three. Thank you for sharing the live. You're awesome over on TikTok. You guys on YouTube are the best too. Thanks for being a Blue Merino. Wherever you're watching, we consider you a Blue Merino. That means you like flowers and ribbon and you like creating wreaths. Maybe you're even a wreath seller and you enjoy uh, making your wreaths to sell that you're our people so if you're here watching you're our, our people and uh we're glad you're here i've been doing this 25 years i really have no agenda except to make things beautiful i'm not in a race with anybody else i just love to teach you um to enjoy creating for yourself in your home or to sell all I can do is just share my experiences with you. So hopefully your journey is that much easier. So I made an extra tail. So I just cut it opposite cuts as this tail and I'm just scrunch it and put it in. So sometimes I like to really have them matchy matchy, which if you're a design school student, you're gonna go Kali matchy matchy. Well, sometimes, right? Right, CT, it does look like gold foil. It is kind of like foiled on that edge. It sure is. Okay, now I'm gonna come in with a pretty tie-dye. I'm gonna lay it on top. And I'm gonna cut it at the angle that matches. And then that tail, we're gonna make it just a little bit shorter because it's gonna lay on top of this one. So just about an inch is fine. So maybe like seven inches and twist. Okay, oh, look how pretty. It's picking up all those red tones in there. And the oranges, oh yeah, I love that. So now I'm gonna be at five and a half, so a little bit shorter, and we're gonna do two loops. Okay, we're twisting. And keep that nice and loopy. Thanks, Anne, I'm glad you like it. Six and a half, twist, hold it in the center when you pull it back to do your next loops. Okay, come back in, twist. Separate them out. 
I am feeling much, much better. Thanks for asking. Still have a few more weeks of therapy, but every day is better. I appreciate it. It definitely was a lot harder than I thought, all of this knee surgery stuff, but I think we're getting over the hill. And uh, back to more normal activity every day, which is great. Isn't that awesome? Now let's make it matchy matchy. Let's put in another. Let's put in another tail just to match it. So I'm just going to cut it right here just so it's the exact same length as that other. And then we'll just bring it in the center and just double check my length. That looks good. And now we have two tails, two loops. Okay. Thanks, Pat. Dolores says she needs to step out of her comfort zone. Oh, oh, also, you guys, I can't tell you guys yet about our uh, workshop coming up, but it's definitely out of your comfort zone. Um, and I will let you know pretty soon, but I, uh, design school gets first dibs on it first. So I will let you know after when we're ready coming up soon. Right? I didn't know it would be that. Yeah. The surgeon tricked me a little. Not really. He just said it's not that bad, but he lied. I think that's what they do. They don't tell you the truth. Now you see, I put the next tail in. This time I'm just going to use one. I kind of like it to separate the two of uh, the tie dyes. Just one, and it's probably uh, just a couple inches shorter. Now, I was at se uh, six and a half, five and a half. So let's go four and a half for this. So just this is a little cute pop of a bow in here. So we end, ended up making a three, two, one on our layers here. Three loops, two loop, and then one layer on the top. Stinking cute. So you can see this is more layered up. Now the cool thing is this kind of looks like a big pile of autumn leaves. Same thing we did with these, but we started with more on the bottom. So we went from three to two to one. So it's like laying this on top of the next layer in your bow, okay? And layering it up there. <laughs> right, Carol, he meant it wasn't bad for him. <laughs> uh, once you get on the other side of that pain, it's not its not so bad, but when you're just trying to move my big booty around, it's a lot of work. Okay, hold pressure. This has more pieces, so I'm holding pressure. I'm getting some tension before I bring it off. Okay, so it's got some pressure but it's definitely not where I want it all to be. I'm gonna rotate this to the back and we're gonna fluff it all up and separate the loops out. So we wanna get the two tie dyes separated and they need to go in between the leaves. So that breaks the eye up, the tails go up and down in the center. And then this little tail, we want it to be right between the tie dyes. So all of that needs to be um, put in place before, okay, before you even do the next part. Look how pretty. Isn't this gorgeous? It's like, like a big fall pile of leaves. You want to go jump in it. Look at all the dimension on that. And we could even have more here if we wanted. Just spread these out a little bit more. Ooh. Yes, you guys, make sure you text us on the text list. 832-734-5201. Text us the word live sale. Two words, live sale and one sentence. You don't need a period or anything, just live sale. And we'll put you on the live sale list. We'll send you out an alert when we go live for the live sale. Okay, flip it around, going for the tie dye. Let's put it right in the middle. I think that's going to be gorgeous in the middle. Hi, Christina. Good to see you tonight. Fold that on or over on itself. And let's put that right down the middle, separate it out. <gasps> so pretty. Look how pretty. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys over here? Isn't that pretty? Woo! Gorgeous bow. Okay, so uh, if you're watching on YouTube or TikTok, you're going to have to come over to Facebook um, for our live sale. We'll text out the link just shortly. You can go to textkelea.com. And then send us the word live sale. We'll be texting you the link for the live sale in just a little bit. It's only on Facebook, but we'll be live over here showing you, of course, all these ribbons and more ribbons 
and a bunch of beautiful floral supplies that coordinate. We've got a few items tonight that are special deals only for the live sale, so you don't want to miss it. Thanks, Lisa. Um, let me show you these all tonight. Y'all might all need this black ribbon. It is juicy. It's the juiciest ribbon out here. It's probably uh, expensive, but it's nice. Just in case you're a bushy ribbon hoarder like me. Woo! Oh, mama. Oh, I probably need more than one roll of that. Um, but beautiful color combos tonight. A gorgeous, we've got a little bit of mix of fall and Halloween like this. We made it a little more Halloween by adding the orange and black. But all you'd have to do is add like a more neutral here and boom, this would go more fall. Okay, that one's all Halloween. This one's all fall. But listen, you put this ribbon over here, all of a sudden this can be more Halloween. So sometimes it's nice to have ribbons that can go both ways. Hey, you never know when somebody's gonna go both ways on you. So it's nice to be able to do that. Thanks y'all, I am glad you enjoyed it. So I'll see you guys back here on the Khalees Facebook page in about 20 minutes. We'll text you out the link to let you know we're here. Uh, fun shopping with ribbons and a bunch of beautiful floral supplies. So see you in just a little bit. Um, back on the Khalees Facebook. All right, thanks for being here, Blue Marinos. And y'all make sure you have some fun with flowers or 